What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And in today's video, we're winding back the clocks to 2014 to take a look at 76012 Batman The Riddler Chase. Now, this set is very odd considering the little Riddler vehicle here and the cool Batmobile. It's like one great vehicle and one really weird vehicle. Anyways, you can see it came with three minifigures, was $29.99 back in the day, and included 304 pieces. Now, the big draw for this set was the Flash minifigure, which of course, you can see up close and personal here, this was the first Lego Flash ever to be released. Of course, before they gave him the yellow doll molded legs, so we just got red legs here, but it really is a great figure. The helmet, if you've never seen one, it's actually kind of rubbery. He's got some red, uh eyebrows there and on the back side of his head which you can of course flip around he's got a little bit more of a determined angry face so that's pretty cool then we've got the riddler who has a banana included you know kind of like the old banana peel joke but anyways he's got a one-sided head which looks pretty good actually you can see he's got a purple scarf that goes on the back and lots of question marks all over his torso that really looks great He's got a gold cane here, and uh, it's just a very cool figure. I always thought the legs being different colors was an interesting, kind of comic booky approach to designing this figure. Then last but not least, we do have the Batman minifigure. Same head as pretty much every other Lego Batman of the era. And he's got the cowl there, a papery cape. Man, I miss the papery capes. Solid gray arms and legs with black hips, and then just a really great torso printing there, and then some printing on the back as well. So those are our three minifigures here. And onto the set itself, like I said, it is kind of a zany set. So we'll take a look at the Riddler's little dragster here. I mean, this thing is just wild with its construction and everything, but you can see that there's a big plate with a sticker on front here, tiny wheels on the front, big wheels in the back. We've got these little bags here, which of course you could actually turn around and put on a minifigure if you took these off. They just lift off real easy like that. But they hold some money in there. And then you can see that there's like a little knob on the back, nothing crazy there. And there's really no play features to it other than what you could see pretty plainly. So it's just a uniquely designed vehicle. As far as play features go, all of those are actually on the Batmobile, which is a really superior Batmobile design. Definitely one of the better Batmobiles from over the years. Just a nice kind of edged shape up front with some sleek sides and just a very nice compact back. You can see that the chassis underneath is very solid as well. Huge tires on this bad boy. But you can actually position the whole back up and you can see that there are some stud shooters there. And those are activated by pushing this Technic pin like this. And then that would shoot these stud shooters out. So it's a pretty rugged design, pretty unique in that regard. Not one that I love, but it is what it is. So it only moves up and down, as you can see. And the only other thing that moves is this front piece here, which comes entirely off. And then, of course, you can stick Batman back in there and clip this back on and have him in like that. Of course, you could get him in there a little more succinctly, but that's what we're dealing with for this review, to keep it simple. So, is this set worth it? Honestly, I don't think so, guys. We've gotten better Riddlers, better Batmans, better vehicles, and of course, an even better Flash over the years. So, it's a cool set for nostalgia's sake, but not one of the greats. So, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of this set. Let me know if you have it. Be sure to hit like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on the next video. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.